Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dradamatoro and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters of this YouTube channel. A big shout out to Crazy Boss V31, Weez GNZ Gaming, and even Moldy Superman YT. Now these people are our YouTube members on our YouTube platform and I really do appreciate their support. So why don't you go inside my description below and go and check them out and we're going to get straight into the video. Now this video is all about on how to install Watch Your Death Mod inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. So like always make sure that you download and install all of the latest requirements that's inside my description below. Once you have completed that process then download this mod and I will leave this mod inside my description below. So let's get started. Now before we do get started make sure that you download Native UI that is required then go to your Grand Theft Auto V game hover over it right click and open file location now go to your squids folder if you do not have squids folder then create a new folder and name it scripts make sure it is all lowercase open up your squids folder now as you can see I have already got native UI inside my squids folder but just for the video's sake, I'm just going to overlay it and then replace. Now, next, exit out of your extract folder. Now, open up your Watch Your Death extract folder. And all you got to do is select both files except for the readme.txt and drag it inside your scripts folder. Now, really important, open up your wyd.ini file double click now over here is your keyboard keys you can change the keys to whatever you want like Y and then now exit and then save it then now go back to your Gradiv Audio V main folder right click refresh your game folder exit out of your game folder right click refresh your desktop and I will see you all in the game and now we are back in the game and now our game did not crash now really important make sure that you do disable god mode okay so make sure that you do turn god mode off because the mod will not work if you are in god mode now all you got to do is that you just have to blow yourself up okay so let's just go over here and as you can see i can watch my death right now but to revive yourself all you got to do is press the key that you have changed now the default key is L, but I changed the key to Y, so press Y. And as you can see, I have now come back alive. Now I can kill myself without using any explosions by pressing the default key, K. And now I will commit suicide. Now press Y. Now I can respawn by pressing K to kill myself. And then now all I gotta do is press O. Then now I'm dead. And now I will respawn. Now there is a problem with this mod though. So as you can see, I'm now Michael. So yeah, you will be changed to Michael. Don't know why, but that's the only problem with this mod is that you'll be changed with Michael. So, the mod does work 100%, but just try not to respawn, otherwise you'll lose your character if you are Franklin or Trevor. So that is how you guys install the mod, and that's how it works. And we're back again, so I hope you guys do enjoy that mod. That mod is an awesome mod, but like always, if you guys do get stuck installing this mod, then please let me know in the comments, and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that. 
or if you do get stuck installing any other mods then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help out on that or like always if you guys did enjoy this video smash that like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials and I will see you guys on my next video thank you for watching peace and I'm out Thank you.